Hi guys, welcome back. There are many times that I need to go for a business trip and also my girlfriend and I are going for a vacation and all of our plans getting dried and some already dead because no one did water them. For today's videos, I'm going to show you how I made the automatic watering system and save the plants from dehydration. If you are ready, let's get started. My idea about this system is I want to water the plant one time a day at the same time so just like an alarm clock and I also want to get a notification if the water in the tank remains too less and I also want to see the real-time data of water level left and the alarm time so I came up with the system like this the ground system to handle water pump and shaking water level is done by ESP32 and on the cloud, I'm going to set up web server for HTML page to update sensor data and so on. So meaning ESP32 is connecting to the server all the time and sending data to the server by the web socket. The web socket server receives data from ESP32 client and displays that data on HTML web client. And to set up timer, I will make a simple text file and let the web socket server read it and send it to the ESP32. So if I want to set up new alarm time, I just simply go to my virtual machine on the cloud and change that file anytime. So the ESP32 will get new timer once WebSocket server is restarted. The HTML page is good for time-to-time -time monitoring, but I also want to get an email notification once the water level is very less, so I could review it later. If this system is working, I could save my plants from a death of dehydration. To water the plants, I'm thinking to use a small water pump because the plants are not too big and just need few hundred milliliters for each tree. I'm thinking to use this gasoline tank for water tank, one hole for pump holes and another hole for water refill. For water level sensor, this A02YYUW ultrasonic sensor is a good candidate because it's waterproof and many people have tried it before. I made two holes on the tank so the sensor can be placed and see water surface in the tank. And as I mentioned earlier, the ESP32 will be used as microcontroller because it could do many things like connecting to Wi-Fi, doing WebSocket, sending email, and so on. And here is my connection diagram of all components. The pump motor needs 12 volt, so it will be on off by ESP32 pin with this transistor and relay. I have LM7805 to step down 12 volt to 5 volt for ESP32. There is a push button to allow me to manually drive the pump. Ultrasonic is connected to UART port. There are many things we need to test, so I'm going to test individual functions separately. First, the ultrasonic sensor reading. The sensor is using UART to send raw data out, so I include driver UART and define the pin to use. 00, zero for printing out. The baud rate for sensor is 9600 and as default you are set up. And I'm going to use another thread to listen on incoming data. On the main loop, I will print the distance value at every 100 millisecond. So on the UART reading thread, I just need to check the header byte as 255, then get distance value by combining second and third bytes. The output distance looks quite accurate, so and the effective range is from 3 cm to 4.5 meters. Next, I'm going to use real-time clock from NTP server, so I need to include the Wi-Fi.h and specify the Wi-Fi SSID and password. Next, include time.h and SNTP.h. This is a standard library for ESP32. I put GMT offset second as 32,400 because JST is plus 9 hour from GMT and a helper function to print roll call time and to check a time available or not. On setup, first thing trying to connect to Wi-Fi and after that use SNTP set time async notification and config time. Once time is available, we will print out on screen every one second. And you could see the ESP32 is connecting to internet and trying to get time and once it receives it, it will print out the correct time. Next is to check the web socket. The ESP32 will be one of client, so we include websocket client.h. The data format between server and client is in JSON, so we include ArduinoJSON.h. 
WebSocket event is like a callback function once any kind of event happens on WebSocket. On setup, similar as before, it would try to connect to Wi-Fi, then trying to connect to WebSocket server as on this address and port, and it will do reconnection automatically. On the main loop, the ESP32 are trying to send NUM data, which is just sample data, to the WebSocket server at every one second, and the NUM value will keep increasing. Here is the JavaScript of WebSocket server code. At first, it will try to read the file which has alarm time inside, then it will establish WebSocket server on this port. Once if there is client connected with the name of ESP32 client, it will send alarm time back to that client. And on message event, if the ESP32 client sending something back, it will pass that message to the web client so the HTML could see those values. For the test, I will run WebSocket server from my laptop. Once the ESP32 is on, it will try to connect to this WebSocket server. After they are connected, the server will get num value and ESP32 will get alarm time. And on HTML console, it's printing new data. And that's how we can get real-time data from the device. Next is to check the sending email function. We need Wi-Fi header same as before and include ESP mail client.h. We need to specify the SMTP server and sender and receiver email here. Declare the SMTP and config objects and some variables. On setup, trying to connect to Wi-Fi and set up the config of SMTP. I made this send email function with sendTech as agreement. Inside here, we construct message object and finally just send email and wait for the result. Inside the loop, I'm going to send email from ESP32 to my Gmail with the update number every 15 seconds. And if I check on my email inbox, I could see the message from ESP32. About the HTML page, I'm thinking to just make it simple. So there will be an alarm timer, water level showing, and I will put this Lotso Bear sticker for telling a status. If it seems panic, it means water needs to be refilled. If it does questioning phase with Moshi Moshi, it means the ESP32 or server is not connected. If it's cutting hard, means everything is all good. If it's throwing hard, means now it's watering the plants or pump is working. Let's try to test the system. Here I connect input output of the pump with the hose, and next to it is the relay to trigger the pump and the ESP32 on breadboard, some of LED and switch. And the system is powered by this regulator from 12 volt AC adapter. Down here, the sensor is placed on tank and output host will drain water to this bucket just for tests. Here is how the app looks like on phone, and the alarm time is set up at 12.52. So there is one minute left to trigger the pump, and once the timer is up, the LED will be light on, and pump is working for a couple seconds. We can set up this number later. And that's it, we just saved the plans for another day. Also, I include a push button to allow bypassing timer so we could test the pump and manually water the plants. So when pump is working, the lasso will be changed to throwing hard and water level is changing. If water level is below 15%, then Lasso will start panic and I will get email notification to refill water. Next, I designed the PCB for ESP32 and all components I will need. Also, I have an extra GPIO I can use for my future development, then export this as Gerber file, and I go to PCB way to order this prototype board. Just select quantity and color as you need. Then drag dropping the Gerbil file and that's it. Really fast and convenient. After the review and payment checkout, your PCB will arrive within a couple days. 
if you are looking for a rapid prototype of PCB, PCBA, 3D printing, or even CNC machining, please go check on PCBWay.com. After soldering all of the components on board, then I decide to use this waterproof box. Then mortar will be placed inside and just the hoses that go out to the water tank and to the plant spot. The push button and LED will be on the box lid outside. Everything is all good, then let's just test this on the real place. For now, I'm going to split the water hose to two parts by a wire connector at first. Then later, I will use a control valve and split to other parts that need less water. I set the alarm time at 11.38, so there is a few seconds left before I start watering. And once the time is up, the pump is working, and the plants got safe for another day. And that's for today's videos, I hope you guys like it. This project is another fun project which we apply many ideas like microcontroller, web application, web socket, and some of electronics. So I hope some part of my video will be useful for you somehow. And if you like this kind of video and want to support my channel, there is a super thanks button and you can select how much you want to buy me a coffee. Also, you can join my channel membership and that would be a great energy for me to keep doing this. And before you leaving, please don't forget to press like or share button. Thank you for watching and see you soon.